Let me suggest a resolution worth keeping. Discipline yourself. Do you know discipline is a positive word that often is taken in a negative way? We think about parents disciplining children or the discipline that's exercised in the military. But actually, the word discipline means to bring back into line. It means to bring away from cliff edges or dangerous places and back onto a safe path. It's really corrective and it's directive and it's protective. If we're headed off in the wrong direction, then discipline is a turn back to the right. It's corrective. It's also directive. If we want to get from point A to point B, for instance, in a weight loss program or exercise program, we want to be able to lift so much or run so far or lose so much weight. We have a goal in mind, but if we get away from that goal, then it is discipline, the exercise of self-discipline, following a plan or a strategy or a training program, and it's directive. It gets us back toward our goal, point A to point B. So it's corrective, it's directive, it's also protective. We don't waste our time, we don't waste our life, we don't waste ourselves wandering aimlessly or in a place that can cause us harm or harm others. Not just physical harm, more often than not it's emotional damage and it's the baggage that we have to then carry that we accumulate while we're wandering. And so God protects us by teaching us the principles of discipline. The Bible says that God disciplines those he loves. We know that parents discipline children so that children will learn self-discipline when they're living on their own. Discipline shows up in a plan. It shows up in orderliness. It shows up in forward motion. We make progress in life when we discipline ourselves. The man or the woman looking for a job will exercise the discipline of sending out resumes and following up with phone calls and keeping scheduled appointments for interviews. It's discipline. The athlete in training also is a good example of self-discipline. Getting up early to put in those miles or making sure he or she does so many push-ups and increases until they accomplish the goal that they've set. You do this professionally. You also do this spiritually. People who plan to read the Bible through in a year, they do so through self-discipline. This is the time of day and this is how much of the Bible I'm going to read every single day. I think you could think of your own examples of where you needed more self-discipline and you could probably give examples of where you are exercising good self-discipline in your life. Discipline is not a negative word. It's a positive word. And if we live this year in a disciplined, orderly, well-planned fashion, not only will we have the favor of God, we'll get to the end of our year and we'll say, look how far we've come. And that will change your life.